What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy, Ray. You like my new intro? I drink. You like my new sign? I did it. You like the second rodeo? It's fire! Like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. Federico, cut the beat. Guys, I am exhausted. I am fucking tired. I worked yesterday, then I went live for five hours, and then I went back to work this morning, and then I came back here. I am exhausted, but for some reason, I have a, I, I got home, took a shower, and got a boost of energy. Talking to the wall, second rodeo, streaming if you have it. My man Adam, it is on you. Well, don't you come knocking on my door. I still smell like the night before, and I can use a drink. Cause hey, you had to go take a shower the minute you got home. That was the problem. You got too wasted. A guzzle guzzle. That's what that motherfucker does, man. I know he does, man. Comes out of work, a hard day's work. Crack open a cold one. Then you crack open another. And then uh, Billy Bob from down the street, hey! Got that new moonshine. <laughs> and then you <laughs> Go over there, you drank with Billy Bob in them. I had a fire pit going. It was a, it was a, it was a fun time. It was a fun time. But now look at you. Smell like alcohol and bad decisions, my nigga. Come on. Dog. My door, I still smell like the night before, and I can use a drink because the buzz is wearing off. He's trying to keep the party going. I like that energy. I like that energy, Adam. Adam's the type of dude that he's like, yo, I'm so wasted. What do we do? Let's keep fucking drinking. <laughs> I can use a drink because the buzz is wearing off. And I need to sleep, but I've been lost. And they don't make a bet that soft. And I don't like to talk. I'm having trouble with my thoughts. That man is faded. I got a story time uh, with Uncle Ray. I got a story time for you guys. I don't like talking about the the bad old days. I don't. I don't like. I don't. I barely bring that up a lot. But I think this is an appropriate uh, title, and appropriate words of the song to have this story time with Ray. This happened back in two thousand and one. <laughs> Make that shit sound like it's thirty years ago, man. It's almost. It's almost. Six more years, bro. Ain't that long. You get pregnant right now, and you get birth right now, six years, and nigga's still an idiot. It's like, it don't matter. <laughs> Hold on. So, it, it happened like around like 99, 2000, around there. Me and my boys, we, we have this spot in New York, and we get we, we, we get faded over there, like fake. My boy told me, yo, there's some shorties that live down the block. Their grandmother left. She deuced it. She said, oh, I'm gonna go to Atlantic City with the with the with my homegirls. <laughs> That's all she she said. She was Polish. She went to Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, Atlantic City with, with a couple of her friends. So shorties do wops. It's all way. Hey, hey, hey. He said, yo, let's go, let's go, go over there real quick, see what's popping. Like, all right. So we got all of us, we went over there. He called the girls and paid for, hey, yo, we on the way. You got the shit. And, and then they know that, right? We got over there, mind you. This nigga got a van. <laughs> it's not a cool van. It's a grandmother. I'm about to go to bingo and fuck some shit up van. That's the type of van this guy got. We all jump in that motherfucker. We're driving. It's fucking snowing. I think it was like, it just started snowing that day. So the fucking streets were like fucking, you already know. We get to the crib. Go in there. Girls open the door. We go in there. Music playing. Uh huh? Blunts are being rolled. Food is being cooked. 
it was, it was a good environment. It's a place where I want to be at. So, they opened a bottle of Everclear. I've never drank this thing a day in my life. My, my alcohol of choice is either Captain Morgan or Hennessy. I'm not picky. Old Brew got Dominican rum. But it's rum. It, it, it is what it is. I'm a cognac rum type of dude. All right, fuck the vodka. I don't do that. So, we start doing shots. We start smoking. Ding, ding, ding. Bad decisions about to be made. We found a gel that somehow, some way, we figured out that when you put it in your skin and you light that bitch, it doesn't hurt. It burns your hair off, but it doesn't hurt until it burns it all off. So we said, you know, it would be funny. <laughs> My cousin said, what? <laughs> Put your arms, let's let's fill your arms, both arms full of that shit. I'm going to light you up. And my cousin's like, why do I have to do it? Be quiet. I'm going to light you up and start running out the door. And start screaming, I'm on fire, like really loud. He said, I bet the girls were out there talking to some dude, some 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 dudes and shit, whatever. And he comes running out. And when I let him up, we didn't think it was gonna light up that fast. <laughs> we weren't expecting the speed of the let, light up in this. You understand? <laughs> light up in this is crazy, bro. <laughs> And he runs out the door. Problem. The gel, if you rub it against something and the gel touches whatever other surface and falls there, that gel's still on fire. <laughs> so a little piece of gel just fell on one of the girls' shoe. <laughs> and that shit went. <laughs> Bitch was screaming. Motherfuckers was crying. I was laughing my ass off. I peed twice on myself <laughs> that night. And everybody got pissed off. They kicked us out the house. And me and him are walking. And I'm faded. I'm just, I'm out of it. And we're walking, and we're walking, and we're walking. And it's like two below nothing. I got my Tim's on. I'm pissed. But I'm drunk and pissed. And that's the worst combination. And he's talking shit. I'm talking shit. And then I stopped. Why the fuck are we walking? And he was like, oh shit, we did drive, didn't we? And then I was like, you know what? I think it's just a better idea if we us walk. Because if we forgot that we came in at a motherfucker in a car, this man has no hair in his arms. I'm still wet. You know how cold it is when you pee yourself and the wind of New York City's coldness hits you? My peeps just went inside out. That's why I don't drink like that no more. I make bad decisions. Let's go, boy! Sometimes I act crazy And they gotta call the law And sometimes they make me But they say it's all my fault Lawmen get them handcuffs ready And I hold my nice and steady Throw me in a cell cause hell I'm just talking to the wall They gonna put you in the drunk tank they're going to put you in a drunk tank, Adam. I don't want to see an angry Adam or like a drunk, like wasted Adam inside of a jail cell. That's not a pretty picture. I wish a nigga would. You know what we should do? <laughs> you know what we should do? And this is just me talking shit. We should say a bottle of Everclear, right? And a bag of shrooms. And put Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun, up church. Who's the fourth victim? And struggle. <laughs> and then have them 
eat all the mushrooms and drink the whole bottle and then just start recording and just to see what happens. Oh my God. You know what's going to happen? They're going to end up staying inside that cell because somebody's going to jail for murder. You don't let him that one out. The other ones could go. He killed everybody almost. That would be a fucked up situation. I'll record it though. And I'll react to it. Since then he throw me in the cell cause hell I'm just talking to the wall. Well don't you come knocking on my door. I done heard it all before. Right. And I ain't gonna change so you can just walk off. Get out of here man. Oh but don't you. With the eyelids. Get out of here man. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> See I was having a conversation with a boy at work today. Um, and we were talking about the Adam Calhoun album, and he was just like, man, there's been a lot of people giving negative, negative feedback about the album, and I was like, what album? And he's like, Second Rodeo, and I was like, who? He was like, I don't know, man, people say, man, stupid shit about it. And I was like, oh, I'm reacting to the whole, the album right now. I'm like, so far, no, it has not been nothing. I'm like, I don't know. Motherfuckers gonna hate because they want to hate because it's because of beef and shit like that. Nigga, they don't know you. Like, like they don't know you. You you you're going for bat for a dude that doesn't even know you. Like, let's be realistic about this shit, bro. Like, yeah, you, you, we're all fans of these guys, but that's that's what we are. <laughs> we're nothing else. They don't know us personally. Now, if it's if it's if it's wrong, it's wrong. But I don't know all the details to even speculate anything about anybody. So that's why I don't say shit about it because. It's, it's pointless. It's absolutely pointless. They all are fired. So it is what it is. There's no, there's no reason why I'm going to bother in my head with all this nonsense. At my door, I done heard it all before. And I ain't going to change so you can just walk off. Get out of here, man. Oh, but don't you know. You do it so well, you just came to put me through a little more hell. But I'll be just fine when I get back on my feet. That's where I go! Sometimes I act crazy, and they gotta call the law. And sometimes they make me, but they say it's all my fault. I think he's doing a great job. I don't hear it. I, I think he's doing a great job. This sounds so good. Go oh, ahead, man, and keep on going, bro. Times they make me, but they say it's all my fault. Lawmen get them handcuffs ready, and I hold mine nice and steady. Throw me in the cell, cause hell, I'm just talking to the wall. That's what I feel like doing. What's that called when you do that as a cowboy? That's just nonsense. <laughs> oh my god! I told you I'm tired. When I get tired, I get slap happy. When I get slap happy, I get stupid. They say it's all my fault. Lawmen get them handcuffs ready. And I hold my nice and steady. Throw me in the cell, cause hell, I'm just talking to the wall. Yeah, throw me in the cell, cause hell, I'm just talking to the wall. I like this song, man. Yo, man, Adam, this is a great album, man. Fuck everybody else, what they say. I like this fucking album, bro. You're a cool dude, man. You a cool dude. <laughs> guys, I love each and every one of you guys. You already know that. I appreciate everybody that came to the live last night. 
we had a I don't know how many people were actually active at once the highest I don't have that number yet until Monday but the highest that I seen was like 134 so it was 134 people on the live yesterday that shit was fucking awesome you guys are awesome. and they were they were in there through the whole five hours that was the crazy part it was 135 for like five hours not five, five hours it grew to 135 within like hour or two and then it was like one it's still 135 for the last the next three so it was amazing bro good conversation awesome video i felt like i was just hanging out with the fan that's a fact i love you guys i got two more coming and i'm gonna talk to you guys in a minute uh, a doses that's fire.